Alright, in today's video, I'm going to be celebrating the spooky season by unboxing Echo 1. This is obviously a Transformers and Ghostbusters collaboration. Two 80s franchises come together, and I'm surprised that they haven't done this sooner. This, it all looks awesome, with the box art even being reminiscent to the old Transformers box art from the 80s. Now, let's take a look at the box. As you can see, we have really nice artwork of what Echo 1 will supposed to look like when he's all transformed in his robot form and I'm pretty sure they classify him as an Autobot and uh, what else should I say this move on to the bottom shows what it comes with just the toy itself and then Slimer here that's cool that they added in Slimer not gonna lie but this slime that's not included now looking at the top it shows a very basic transformation not really a true instruction manual luckily because I do not plan on using the instructions at all I will talk about that a little bit later in the video though moving on to the sides it's just uh, basically what we saw on the bottom, but it shows Slimer on the shoulder instead of just separate on the ground. And on the other side, it's the exact same. Ghostbusters logo, Transformers logo, exact same. Now on to the back, which is absolutely 80s unfortunately I do not have any boxes from the 80s franchise because obviously I was not born in that time I'm guessing obviously the only difference is on like this box that would be on a classics Transformers box from the 80s is obviously this and the ghost uh, corp thing and this QR code other than that it is just identical to what I see on eBay yeah definitely not getting one of those but let's take closer look here at this fictional stats I have no idea what any of this is supposed to mean and we got some information I'm not going to read out. The artwork of uh, the character that we see here. It's the same artwork. And we get a beautiful classic artwork, uh, like I've been saying. And there's the ghost corpse, whatever and all the branding stuff I think we're pretty much done with talking about the box I think we can actually open up Echo 1 so it's time to pull out my handy dandy scissors now going off the side and cutting that tape now, is there tape down here? Nope. Any tape up here? Nope. So this should be pretty easy. Just open it up. I don't want to ruin the box too much. And we should be able to just slide them out. <laughs> There we go. And instructions at the back just fell down. But that's alright. This is basically what you're going to get with the instructions. Looks pretty nice. 
Uh, I'll just open them up real quick just so you can like see what it would show but I like to actually transform my transformers all without the instructions and I will probably be doing a separate video on uh, transformation take them out of this white box here this is not like a display box or anything that goes behind the character they recently been doing that with transformers so seems like they went with plastic here back in the old days it probably would have been like the metal zip tie things which sucked I always hated those oh I think I missed one there we go see at least that you can cut who looks amazing looking at the top all the features looking at this side yeah this is awesome well, that's a uh, soft uh, plastic or like a rubber. But let's put them off to the side and get Slimer out. It does not look as easy to get out. Let's take a look what he's in here. He's in this X. Not too much room to like get your scissors in. What I'm doing here. If you're wondering, I'm just going off where his arm is. Try and get underneath. And boom. Might take a few cuts depending on how dull or sharp your scissors are. Now we're going to do the same over here. Oh, don't want to cut his hand. And boom. He should be all free. Slimer! So, his arm's fairly soft. And he's pretty much made out of the same type of, like, soft rubber. But, like, all of his features are kind of, like, really thick. So, even though it's the same type of plastic, it's a little bit harder. Where they kind of hollowed out his ass for some reason and gave him a butthole he has a butthole yeah I never thought I'd say that Slimer has a butthole confirmed Ooh. Ooh. well he's just a cool little thing to have on the side for display Let's put him off into the background put the garbage off to the side now let's drive in echo one take a closer look now unfortunately with all these transformers you're gonna have this problem where you get this underside kibble and if you don't know what kibble means it's basically just Parts that ruin the illusion, in a sense, or that really shouldn't be there. Alright, he rolls pretty good. I don't like that this is already separated. And I can't tighten it up. That's a little bit of a shame. But I'll probably have him displayed more in his robot form but then again if I start collecting more crossover transformers I'll probably display them all as the cars but I I don't really know what any of this stuff is so I can't really talk about what it is I'm not gonna try and explain any of this or I don't even know if it has any canon lore what 
this stuff does. Can the doors open? I don't think so. If we look down here, there's no hinges for it to open out. So the the doors are closed. That's that is what it is. That's a transformer for you. Take a look at some side views all together. Oh buddy, it's a great looking display piece. But I think it's about time to transform this thing and get him in his robot form. I'm going to skip the transformation in this video. Oh wait, I forgot. He has Echo 1 right there. Cool. I'm going to actually make a separate video on transforming him without the instructions to see how long it takes me and the struggles that I have and to just see how I end up dissecting the whole figure on my own but I think it's time for that transition I have Echo One fully transformed and I have found a few problems yeah, and it was not fun finding out about these things. Well, at first it was like, oh, nice, like, oh, just randomly found out about that, but they're too loose. Same with these feet. Oh my gosh, the feet suck so much. Like, his lower half is the worst part of this figure. Other than that, he looks amazing. Now let's take a nice close look at his face. Hello, I'm Echo One. You can see they gave him the classic goggles. Um, they do not fold down or come off or anything. We have nice neck movements. It's on a ball joint, so full. 360 degree you can move up and down but I think that's mainly because it's not tabbed in properly right now there we go okay that's how much it's supposed to move but it untabs so easy it doesn't matter you gonna have them look up or down you just gotta remember to tab them back in now um, what should we talk about? His mobility here. He can kick. Move his leg like that. Like that. He can do some funky dance moves. Boop, boop. And we've already seen the foot. That's mainly for transformation. He can kick out words. Do a... Uh, Nice split. Oh yeah. Reach for the sky. And just put him back. Got nice swivel here. Goes all the way around. Probably want to put that back around. Arms up and down. Obviously you got to do that for some transformation. This spins completely around. I think that's like his forearm. You got some bend action, which is like this is what the legs should be more like. Ugh. This is nice and stiff. That's what she said. <clears throat> um what else? Oh yeah, we got movement here, but again, that's more for like the transformation, but it still allows for more dynamic like poses if you want. So that's always nice. Oh, proton pack fell off. Let's get to the back and yeah. Talk about the proton pack that comes off. 
kind of just lazily tabs in right there. Oh wait, there's also this tab here that goes into here. Forgot to mention that. So you gotta like sneak it in there and boom. Doesn't stay the greatest. Like it almost just popped off there. Back kibble. I wouldn't even consider this kibble. I would consider this what it would look like for his back. It looks awesome. Still has the Ghostbusters logo. Like this is more of a cartoony look. It's almost like if the Energon series crossed over with the old school um, Ghostbusters cartoon. That would be cool. But obviously you can take off the weapon. I don't think it tabs in anywhere. Maybe. Nope, that does not fit in there. So you probably just want to take the proton pack right off. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. If I am wrong, please correct me in the comments. If I am wrong, then get used to me saying it a lot in the next video. I've definitely been calling that thing the proton pack the whole time. Even on its own, it looks sick. Just put that off to the side and just admire it. Maybe you want to twist that a bit. And boom, proton pack. Okay, now is there much to say? There's no waist swivel. I should mention that. But if you look in his uh, backside part here, definitely no room for that he's pretty hollow plus you can see inside of his chest they they left no room they probably could have figured out something but it would have complicated a lot this is nice and simple I don't really think there's too much left to say here other than he just looks awesome he has pretty good mobility. You can put him into some pretty cool poses. If they didn't give us like this right here, he would not be able to stand up. Like put him like that. Boom. So luckily this seems like an afterthought and they ended up fixing a problem. But unfortunately, this is still a problem. Yeah, this is my only complaint is the feet and shin too loose. He looks sick though. He's ready to do some ghost busting. Now I kind of wish I had many figures of the Ghostbusters to go along. Maybe, maybe in the future. I mean, I do have Slimer here. Where can I rest him? That He's still in view. But I think I should end this video here because I'm pretty sure I talked about everything I possibly could. Multiple times. And hopefully I'll do more Transformer videos in the future. As long as this gets lots of views. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. But peace out and have a happy Halloween.